So in this video, we're going to be looking at Christmas stocking fillers. What can you buy just to fill up a little bit of a stocking for somebody, or even a little bit bigger? We'll look at the, some of the stuff that I use around the pond, and some of the stuff I don't use, but I could be using in the future, or stuff that I want to use in the future. So let's have a look at what you can get to fill in that little bit of a stocking. Siphons, love these. I've, I've been going on about these for years. These are basically, again, an aquarium item that we use on the pond. Saves you a, a small fortune in water. You, with, for example, if you've got your filter system, you've just entered it out and there's a little bit of poop still at the bottom or, and you, instead of flushing it through again, grab the siphon thing, hoover it out with a siphon, saves you getting rid of a load more water. So these are cracking little things as well. Siphons, can't live without these. Well, you can, but you know what I mean. Water monitors. Now these are, I've been using these now for almost two years. I started off my first one last year, which was the wired unit. Uh, this is by a company called Cactoily. Uh, they make water monitors that continually monitor our water. They make our life a little bit easier. So this is, these are, uh, were first designed to go into aquariums. So you'd sort of fit the window in between there and you'd look at the outside and that would be monitoring inside. You can put them on your, on your pond itself, or you can put them in your filter system like this. And just recently they've, they've created a wireless version that I did a little re review of. I think it was last video. Anyway, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put that on at the end if you wanted to click on and see how the wireless ones work. Cracking little things these are. Um, not over expensive. They deliver worldwide, I believe. Treatments. These come in really handy. And what you find is because we're in, if you're going into the winter season, sometimes the prices go down on these a little bit because the demand for them goes down because not a lot is going on in the pond. So sometimes if you stock up on your treatments over the winter period, and then you've got them all ready for when you go into spring, rocking and rolling. So for example, in Malachi Greens, if you're parasite controlling, then you've got your hydrogen peroxide, that does a number of things. That does a lot of cleaning, to be honest. I, I clean my air discs with this. <laughs> That's really good. It also serves as a great neutralizer if you're using potassium permanganate. If you're doing a PP treatment, this neutralizes it if you really have to. So you always have this on standby as an emergency. Never ever leave your pond with PP in without having a tub of this some to one side. And then of course you can have your dreaded blanket weed as soon as the, uh, the spring kicks in and you your nitrate levels start going up when you start feeding again and the vegetation starts growing in your pond. So, you know, sometimes it's better to get these in over winter and then stick them in your, in your shed somewhere. Keep them nice and dry and, and at a decent temperature. Don't let them freeze and don't keep them out in the open. And, you know, they'll be serving quite good for you ready for when the spring comes in. Treatments. Put some of them. Water treatment kits. These are a must have. If you're a pond owner, you've got to have some sort, be it this one, be it the Colombo version, be it whatever. You've got to have one of these to hand all the time throughout the year. These dictate what you do in your pond, these dictate how you treat the pond, these dictate how often you feed in the pond and so on and so forth. These are dead handy because you've got to keep an eye on your ammonia levels and your nitrite levels when you're feeding. Uh, nitrate levels, okay, maybe not as much as the other two, but it's, you can still test them as well. Test your pH, test your KH. You know, these are really important water tests that you've got to do on a regular basis. So getting yourself a nice little water kit, water testing kit, can't deal without it. A little stocking fella. Even if they want one up top, topping up, like this is getting a bit sparse. Because you can buy these bottles separately as well. So if you know that you're sort of getting low on, on something, you can actually buy these separate and just top up your kit. Once it starts running out, water kits, got to have one. GoPros, these are quite good to get into your pond, completely waterproof. These little, little mini GoPros, uh, Hero 5s. Uh, session fives these are these are quite old this is an old model this is one i've been using for a number of years now dead easy to use you literally you've got um that's where your little sd card goes in at the back there plus your power and everything this little sd card plugs in to make it work you press the top button your point it does whatever and you press the top button and it stops again and then you just upload it onto computer or you can do it through your phones which is quite interesting but because these are completely waterproof i've been able to get footage kind of like this well, I can basically dump this in the drink and swim around with the fish and see what's going on. So these, these are quite good for getting some underwater. Not bad. Water conditioners and clays. For example, you all know about fog. Um, again, perfect time of the season to get these in because as the season kicks back in over in spring, you know, if you're heading into winter, you know, the prices of these start going up. There's lots of other different types that you can use on these. There's your Mediclays and your Fox and your 
uh, Koi Master's Advantages and JPG or whatever they call them. There's so many on there and I'll put a little link to a video uh, up here somewhere uh, of a video I did on loads and loads of different types of, of clays and wart conditioners if you want to keep an eye on them. It's another little stocky fella. Fish aren't coming up much at the moment, really cold. Microscopes, fantastic items. These allow you to be more, so much more self-sufficient to be able to sort what's happening in your pond as it happens. Fish are flashing, fish are doing silly things, don't know what it is. Is there a parasite on them? You can get your fish out and deal with it yourself. And look, there's loads of videos out there of how to get the fish out. Uh, again, I'll put a link up here somewhere of how I get my fish out the easy way. Uh, and there's loads of other videos out there that people have done of how to scrape fish. So you scrape your fish, you have a look under here, you look at what it is, bing, ah, there it is, it's whatever. And then you can treat it. You know, the last thing you wanna do is try to be treating your pond without knowing what you're treating for kind of guessing is never a good idea unless you're really really educated in in the fact of knowing what it is but that's very rare even the professionals out there use these to find out what is going on so yeah these are dead handy and they're not expensive you know you can get expensive ones you can get cheaper ones this is like a mid-range one yeah microscopes gotta have one of these fantastic items now as well as your other ways of monitoring water is your temperature you could do with monitoring your temperature of your pond as well because that dictates when and when you don't feed the fish you know if there's any issues with feeding more to the fish, turn your feed, feed from wheat to more proteins. Um, and if you can't afford the dead expensive water monitors out there, or the more expensive monitors out there, you can buy these little cheap ones here. These are literally pennies. You get them off eBay, you can get them off Amazon. And uh, basically it's got a little probe on the end, put the probe in the water, push the button, tells you what it is push the button again it turns itself off little battery inside and replace every now and again just just so easy so yeah these are lovely little stocking fellas these are lighting lighting around your pond that's another great one to to get a plan ready for next summer because it's going to be a beautiful summer next summer we're going to be having barbecues and parties and everything in the in the garden you'll need lights to light your garden up when you're having those parties and barbecues through the beautiful summer we're going to have in england I hope. <laughs> so like your lights, you've got the, the lights you can put around your pond, you've got the strip lights you can put around the pond that make your pond look like this, like this at night time. So when you've got guests round and you can even put them around the garden themselves and you know I fitted some this year that fit around the garden that look like this. It just gives you that sort of bit of a ambient or even better than ambient, ambient lighting in and around. So there's another little stocking filler. You can get some lights in and get them ready for next year. CCTV. This, uh, this has proved brilliant for me, this is. And this is uh, a, a system made by a company called Eufy. E-U-F-Y, security. Fantastic little tools. And they're wireless as well, so you haven't got to start routing wires around your house and everywhere. You can buy these smaller units. Well, I just basically, I, I have that up on the wall there that looks down through the garden, up and over the pond and, and, and give security to the garden. I've got them all around the house as well. But with these as well, you can also take them off. Hello. You can, <laughs> you can also take them off and use them to basically monitor your pond and find out what's going on with your pond. So yeah, I could just attach them to a, to a base there when I'm going on holiday, point it down at the pond, and it will record everything I need to while I'm away. And then you can watch it on your phone as well. It's all auto. You just pick your phone out, click, 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 watch the film. Ah, oh, right. Rewind, fast forward, whatever. Really good these are. These are lovely little items. And they got some good deals on as well at the moment. Weighing scales, the digital ones, because when you're dealing with potassium permanganate, PP, you've got a PP treatment that you need to measure out a, a dosage uh, by the gram, and you've got to be very accurate. Is getting a set of, of scales. These digital scales are fantastic. They give a really good reading, very accurate, dead easy to use. So you can measure out the correct amount of dose for whatever you're going to be putting in your pond, be it a blanket weed treatment, be it whatever. A, a lot of them do come with scoops, so you'd measure it by the scoop, but if you're doing it by weight, you've got to be dead accurate with the digital scale. So yeah, quite handy little things these are as well. Little signs for your pond. Now these are interesting. As you notice, I've got my little subscribe and then my like and share. Please do when you watch this video. Both of those would be great. A thumbs up would be even better because a thumbs up make all the difference. <laughs> you know, I've got, I had me's made from 
a, a gentleman whose channel is Devon Coy, Martin at Devon Coy, he uh, does a lot of these and they're really high quality stuff. Makes him himself, you order through him and he can do whatever you want. He can put loads of different people's names of people's ponds and I'm kind of rattle some off here now as I'm chatting. Uh, I had some, some made for the side of the pond here, some little symbols, Japanese symbols, meaning love or um, happiness and you know, the little YouTube stuff. You can put loads, he'll do whatever you want to do. And you just ask for these signs, he prints them off, sends them to you at reasonable price, and he's dead quick as well. So, yeah, another little stocking fella. You know, Mike's Pond, Julie's Pond, Our Pond, The Pond, whatever you wanted to put on it. Really good stuff they are. And with Christmas coming up, you'll be looking for somewhere to go and get your turkey, get your beef, get your lamb, whatever you're going to be having for your Christmas dinner. Now, there's a lovely fella I met the other day, Jack who is a butcher down at a place called Great Haywood in the UK. Uh, it's sort of in between Rugeley and Stone, sort of that area-ish. He works in a butcher's, the canal side butcher's at Great Haywood. Lovely bloke, we had a, a great chat. He's got a pond himself and we were having a chat about that. But a colleague of mine who was there, or oh, she went down and bought some, I think it was homemade lasagna, said it was probably the best lasagna she'd ever tasted. <laughs> So anyway, I, th I thought I'd just give a quick shout out to Jack because he did say, give us a shout out and yeah, no problem then. So Jack, top man, good butchery stuff, mate. You want your butchers? Go see Jack. So if you're looking to buy any of the items that I spoke about today and more, I'll list them all in the description below. I'm affiliated now to Amazon, so anything you buy, if you use the affiliated link that I use, it'll cost you no more money, but it helps me run the channel and helps me to put more things on the channel and make the videos better for you out there. And I'll you put this video here of how I tested the new Cactoily wireless monitor. So please like, share, ding that bell, and hit that little thumbs up because it makes all the difference. Thanks very much for watching. Cup on Lifestyle.